Nike is introducing its second version of its self-lacing hyper-adapt shoes, the Adapt BB. And this pair is a lot more affordable at $350, pairs over Bluetooth, and remembers how tight you like your shoes. It's a ton of technology packed right under the arch of your foot. But what does it mean when your shoe acts more like a gadget? We wanted to see what they're all about, so we're here today at Nike's campus to try them out. This is a prototype version. This is not the colorway they're gonna be released in, but I've never worn these before. I've never worn the first version either. After all of this hype, <laughs> this is kind of hard. Okay, that's in. Let's see if I can press some buttons. Oh, now we're tightening. Ooh, it's like giving my foot a hug. Yeah, that is much tighter. Although these were neat to try on and unlike any other shoe I've ever worn, I'm not convinced self-lacing shoes are the future. So I chatted with Nike visionary, longtime designer of the Jordans, Tinker Hatfield. Such a huge amount of effort and engineering that went into this motor, and it's not just the invention of the motor, but then it's how it's been finalized so we can build it. This motor is key to making the shoe mainstream. The HyperAdapt 1.0 had tons of cables and wires connecting the laces, motors, and lights. It was a tangled, delicate setup. Compare that to the Adapt BB, where the shoe's technology has been completely re-engineered for mass manufacturing. All the shoe needs to make it smart is its lacing cable and lace engine. You don't think about any of the tech inside when you're wearing the shoes, but that doesn't change the fact that you're walking on top of a lithium-ion battery. Jordan Rice, engineer of HyperAdapt, tells me not to worry, though, and he walked me through how the team tests the shoes to make sure they won't explode. So we put it out in the field, we put it on athletes, we put it on NCAA athletes, semi-pro athletes, athletes that play professionally overseas and come home for the summer, and then regular athletes playing hoops on a Thursday night. We literally beat it up really, really hard right over top of the lace engine in the shoe. In terms of battery decay, um, most of the batteries that you see decay in your normal devices do so because they're being charged and discharged every day. And so you have a certain number of cycles. You go through 365 of those on your phone in a year. It would take you a very long time at 10 to 14 days battery life to go through 365 on these. Jordan thinks this shoe isn't going to die anytime soon. And anyway, the shoe is smart enough that it will always save enough battery to unlace. Worst case scenario though, you can check your battery life through the app and control some other things. Pair it over Bluetooth and then it'll do a quick tighten, loosen on your feet to sense kind of the optimal setting. Once you have a setting you like, you can also set a mode and save it. Self-lacing shoes are a really interesting idea that anyone who geeks out on tech or sneakers will probably want to try. Everybody wants fresh new shoes all the time. Our next goal will, will be to make this in more colors and more styles. If somebody switched shoes, we would like them to, and, and they would probably like to switch to another shoe that has the same, same technology in it. Hey, thanks for going on this self-lacing journey with me. Tell me in the comments, do you want to wirelessly charge your shoes? Do you hate tying your shoes? Let me know. And as always, stay locked to The Verge for all the future tech content you'll ever need.